I'm Tracy with Yoga with Tracy. Do you suffer from neck pain or just a really stiff neck? Please join me in this very short sequence to just move the neck area, the head, get the blood moving and flowing, and then let's learn a little bit of acupressure points that are going to help to activate those areas to send more blood and chi. Okay, so we're going to start in any comfortable seated position of your choice. So I'm just going to sit in Sukhasana. This is pretty comfortable for me, but find any comfortable position because you need to be super comfortable when you are dealing with neck pain or stiffness. We're just gonna start out with breathing. So I want you to take a deep breath in through the nose and out through the nose. We're we'll doing that one more time. In through the nose and out through the nose. Now let's take the arms all the way up, inhaling and exhaling. See if you can continue to breathe in and out through the nose, inhaling and exhaling. And I want you to try to visualize taking this great, beautiful energy around you that surrounds you and you're being nice and close to the heart, sending it back to you, back through the head, back through the neck, breathing in, gathering that positive, loving, healing energy and bring it right to the head, into the neck, right to the heart. Okay, so one more time, breathing in through the nose and then exhale, breathe out. Wonderful. Now we're going to take the left arm all the way up. Inhale it here and let's sway, breathing out. Exhale. Great. Come on back to center. Inhale, lamp, lengthen the body. Exhale, sway. Great. Again, breathing in, soft, relaxed shoulder here. Exhale. Good. Now lift up and release. Other side, breathing in and exhale, sway. Soft shoulder at the top, please. Breathing in, lift and lengthen. Exhale, sway. Inhale, lifting. And exhale, sway. Very good. Lift up and release. Let's roll the shoulders out five times. Five, four, three. Nicely with breath and nice and slow two, one. Now I'm going to start to stick my elbows out and just do the same kind of motion, but this time I'm taking little mini circles to the outside, thinking I'm drawing little circles to the sides of me with my elbows, but I'm sitting nice and tall and I'm just opening up and warming up the channels in my back and my shoulders. Connecting breath with movement. And then I'm gonna reach all the way up, really lengthen out, give me an air 10 here, shoulders relax, and then let's release. Okay, we're gonna do that again. Lifting up with the arms, lengthen up, and then slowly relax the shoulders, relax the neck. Again, breathing in, and exhale, breathing out. Now, what does it feel like to do it to the sides of you as though you're flying? Breathing in and out. Depending on the neck and the shoulders, you may just want to go up like this. Breathing in and out. Again, breathing in and out. I want you to take the arms all the way up. Touch your fingertips together and see if you can show me some really wide high fives here or low fives and then just squeeze the shoulder blades behind you okay we're going to squeeze lifting the fingertips up and then squeeze the shoulder blades behind okay three more inhale exhale squeeze the shoulder blades relax the shoulders breathing in breathing out i want you to lengthen the neck and the head up to the sky as the shoulder blades are coming down two more breathing in Exhale, lengthen. Again, breathing in and squeeze. Good, release. Okay, we're gonna roll the shoulders out now, one at a time. And then now I'm gonna start to lift my elbows up. Here we go. We're gonna do it one more time on each side. And done, perfect. Now, take the shoulders up and release. One more time, breathing in 
and release. <sighs> okay, now let's gently look over to the right side. My shoulders are super relaxed and down. I want you to just gaze over to the right. Maybe putting the extension a little bit more. Okay, and then release. Did you hold your breath? Please don't, breathe. Let's go to the other side. Depending on how stiff the neck is, you just need to be careful and just breathe through it. So when you are breathing, I want you to think about sending your breath to the area of tension that you're feeling in the neck. Well done, come back to center. Good, now right ear to right shoulder. Ah, oh, and if the neck is grumpy today, be super careful and be gentle with yourself. We're just gonna hold it here. Two more breaths, inhaling, exhale. One more breath, in and out. Now, coming back to center, breathe in. And let's do the other side. Ooh, this one's grumpy for me, this side. So we're gonna take the left ear to the left shoulder, breathe. One more breath, inhaling, exhale. Okay, come on, back to center. We're gonna draw the chin in and look down slightly, stretching the back of the neck. One more breath, in and out. Now, looking back up, we're gonna take our arms all the way up. I want you to breathe in, and then exhale, interlace the fingers. I want you to reach up, palms up to the sky. Inhale here, and then exhale, take the palms down. Release, breathe out. Okay, release the fingers. Arms are gonna come up again. Inhale. I want you to scoop and lift those palms up to the sky. Breathe out. Inhale back to center and then slowly bring them down. Okay, we're gonna do that again. Breathing in and breathe out. Inhale and then exhale. Soft hands. Well done. Now we're gonna work the neck one more time. We're gonna go take our arms to the sides of us. We're gonna look to the right. Come back to center, look to the left, breathe in. Exhale, breathe out, come back to center. Draw the chin in, lengthen the back of the neck, look down. Inhale, back up. And this time, imagine you're holding a grapefruit between the chin and the chest, let's look up. Breathe, good, come back to center. And then, now, I want you to take the right ear to the right shoulder. But this time, I want you to take this right hand and gently place it on top of the head. So we're not pulling on your head, we're just placing it onto the head. The head weight of the hand is just enough to give you a little stretch here, a little oomph. If it's too much, then you release the hand. If it's not enough and you want a little more, then you're gonna send energy out through those left fingertips, reaching them out, breathing here. One more breath, inhaling, exhale. Now when you release that hand that was sending energy, release the hand on the top and look down to the bottom right hip. This time placing the hand further to the back of the head, Again, we're placing the hand, not pulling in any means. We're just relaxing it on the head, closer to the back of the head. And we're looking down to the hip and relax the shoulder, relax the hand, breathe here. Continue to relax the neck and your shoulders, breathing in. And exhale, breathe out. Release the hand from the top of your head. I want you to roll the head to the center and breathe in as you come up. Great, now let's do the other side. Okay, so is this the grumpy side for you or is the other side grumpy or are they just both equally grumpy? So be careful here. 
I'm breathing. I'm taking my hand now on top of the side of the head with my shoulder relaxed. Okay, if I want more for this, I'm gonna send energy out through those right fingertips. I'm gonna breathe here, two breaths, inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the nose. One more breath, in and out. Releasing the hand, releasing the top hand, looking down to the bottom hip. Hand comes to the back of the head. No pulling or retching of any sorts. We're just placing the hand on the head, letting the weight, letting gravity do all of the work. Let's try to relax the shoulder, our hand. I always like to close my eyes because it helps me to relax my neck and my shoulders. And I breathe now. One more breath, please. Breathe in. And out. I'm going to release the hand. And let's gently, slowly turn the head to the center. And inhale as you come up and breathe. Great. Three circle rolls, please, with your shoulders. Three, two, and one. Okay, now I want you to take the space between the thumb and the index finger. There's like a little web here. Beyond that web, just about mm, an inch in, or about mm, two and a half centimeters. There's a real tender spot you may feel there. So I'm gonna take that spot and I'm just going to start to press in there. So my thumb is usually the strongest um, in all of my fingers, but maybe your index finger or the middle finger, you might wanna press in there to your choice, your practice. I want you to start to just press into that point. This is called large intestine four. This is the command point to head and face. We're gonna just activate this to start. This is a really also a great point if you have a suffer from headaches. So you may have a headache from neck tension or soreness. This is a real good one. So I don't want you to be pressing to the point where you're feeling so much pain, but you're feeling it so that you're feeling some sort of sensation, okay? Great, now I'm just gonna massage it all the way out. Now that I pressed into that space, and now I'm massaging the whole area, and then I'm gonna release it, shaking that hand out. Let's go to the other side. We always wanna even out the body. So I'm gonna find that spot, again, between the thumb and the index finger, past the web, right before you get between the bones, you're gonna find a nice little tender spot there. And again, you're not pressing to the point where you're giving yourself um, a bruise, but rather you're pressing it so that you're feeling a sensation of sorts. Okay, so I want you to press into that. Don't forget to breathe. And then maybe you might want to roll or rub in that area. And I'm just going to start to just rub into that space. So find what's best for you. Okay, so I've rubbed into the space. I'm going to shake out my hands. Great. Now I want you to take your index finger in. Take your thumbs, so it's like in this position. Take your index finger and see where it places on top of the wrist. And you want you to start to press into that space right there. You're gonna feel a spot. Once you find that little spot where your index finger landed right onto the wrist, on the side of the wrist, I want you to just start to press into that space. I always like to use my thumb because it's pretty strong. And I want to feel a little bit of a sensation here if I'm not using um, acupuncture needles. So I'm going to press into this spot and this point is called lung seven. This is the command point for head and neck. And it's a perfect point because our sequence today is on how to relieve um, that stiff, sore neck. So I'm pressing into that side and then I'm just going to give myself a nice little rub into the wrist. Great. Okay, I'm gonna shake it out again. And now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So I'm taking my thumbs, wherever that index finger lands, right on top of the wrist, not on the top, but on the side rather. And just right here, coming up the sides, about eh, two inches up from the side of the wrist, I'm going to just press on this point. 
And you'll probably feel something tender, especially if your neck is sore. Again, it's the command point of the head and neck. So we're gonna press this. We're gonna breathe. I'm activating this channel, and I'm hoping that the point is going to activate, open it up, and send chi and blood all the way up to the neck. Okay, so I've rubbed into that, and I'm gonna shake it up. And then my favorite part of this whole sequence is where I'm doing a gentle tap. So I'm gonna start tapping on the top of my shoulder with a nice little C cup of my hand. Tap, and I want you to tap all the way down the arm, the outside of the arm, and I want you to tap on the inside of the arm, okay? Again, tapping at the top of the shoulder, all the way down the outside of the arm to the inside of the arm. I want you to do this at least three times. Tapping, and down, and up. Now I want you to tap on top of the chest and do the other side. So we're tapping the top of the shoulder. And yes, you can um, get to that spot where maybe it is at the back of the neck a little bit, and then tapping all the way down. And on the inside of the arm. Okay, I'm gonna tap, 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 down and up, down and up. Now for the favorite part is just breathing, gentle pressure, come all the way across, down, up. So I want you to do this at least three times, down, up, across, down, up. So I'm going to, we're gonna finish three. And down, well done. I want you to take the arms all the way up to close the practice. Inhaling, remember breathing out, exhaling, sending that positive healing energy through the head, through the neck. Well done, okay. So that was a nice little short sequence. You can do this as many times as you need to, to feel a little bit of relief in that neck and the shoulders, but we don't want to overdo it. So I would say three times a week is great, up to once a day, every day, okay? So if you liked this sequence, please do subscribe to my channel and click that bell so that you may receive notifications from me every week when I post new videos. Namaste.